Yeah, this is one of those problem intersections where a red light camera could potentially be put in. It is where the uh, westbound off ramp from the Boeing freeway meets Evergreen Way. And tonight, a city council subcommittee will start looking into whether red light cameras are a good idea here and across the city. But there are some who warn money from those cameras can be like a drug. With our population growing so quickly, it doesn't take long to see a car run a red light these days. That's why red light cameras have become so popular all across our area. The big problem seems to be people turning left across oncoming traffic and getting T-boned. And that's what we were trying to prevent when we originally did the cameras. Ted Heichel spent 20 years on the Linwood City Council and voted in favor of red light cameras there back in 2006. The fines were supposed to be used specifically for public safety, but didn't take long for the city to siphon it all away for other needs. Heichel thinks all that money becomes like a drug. It's become a part of the regular city budget. It's over $2 million a year that they collect from the red light cameras. It is an addiction. Everett is now looking at up to seven possible locations for red light cameras. They've had mixed reviews across the country. In Linwood, back in 2013, the cameras generated nearly 20,000 tickets with 111 accidents. Five years later, the number of tickets written more than doubled, but the number of accidents dropped to just 14. Heichel believes the cameras work, but cities need to make sure they're spending all of that money properly. I would be very cautious. I think they should set a policy of what they're expecting to have happen. If it doesn't reach that, if they put them in and it doesn't reach that goal that they have, then they should be ready to take them out and not depend on the money alone as a reason to have them. The current fine for a red light ticket here in Washington is $124. We do want to stress this is just a city council subcommittee meeting. They're just beginning the process of getting some information about the possibility of putting in red lights uh, or red light cameras. If uh, they do plan to move forward, then there will be plenty of public hearings and certainly plenty of public opinion that is heard. Live in Everett tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.